Tennessee nigga girl. Happy Monday to you. It's Thanksgiving week. Girl, we got to get these desserts together this week, girl. So I'm coming to you to tell you this cake we finna make. My auntie got this old school carrot cake. When I tell you it's fine, it's moist and everything, girl. No, I'm not in my house. You see this pretty Christmas tree behind me? We at my auntie house. But we about to make this carrot cake, y'all. We getting these ingredients together. When I tell you, your family going to love it. I'm going to be right back. Let me get this stuff together because I ain't at home. <laughs> but I'll be right back. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. We back. Okay, my auntie is going to be putting the ingredients in. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> so y'all won't be thinking I'm lying. But look, okay, we're going to start with the dry ingredients. First, we're going to put two cups of all-purpose flour. Make sure you sift that flour, okay? If you don't know what that means, Google it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put two cups of sift flour, all-purpose flour, okay? All purpose flour. That's two cups, okay? Then we're going to put two cups of sugar. Whatever sugar you want to use. It could be great value, Kroger brand, don't matter. Two cups of them, okay? Now we're going to put, uh, hold on. Let me get the other stuff together. Hold on, y'all. We gonna put uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. Let me get the baking powder. Let me get the baking powder. And you gonna also use baking soda. Baking powder and baking soda. We using one teaspoon of baking soda, okay? And we gonna use two, uh, we gonna use one teaspoon of salt, give or take, okay? <laughs> one teaspoon of salt, give or take. And then we're going to use two teaspoons of cinnamon, okay? Give a All right. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to just uh, blend this together. Now we're using a kitchen aid, but you also can use uh, a, hand. a hand mixer, okay? You ain't got to be fancy. You can use your hand mixer. But we're going to um, use this little kitchen aid right now. And we're mixing that together. Make sure you preheat your oven to 325. Preheat your oven to 325 while we're getting this all together so that way your oven will be good and ready, okay? When I tell you this gonna be the fire carrot cake, girl, it's gonna be fine. Your mother-in-law gonna like you even though she ain't like you at first. She gonna like you, girl, okay? Now we gonna come back and get these wet ingredients ready. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, y'all, we back. We about to put the wet ingredients in now. This is one and oh, let me show you something real quick. This right here, this the cake mix we're using. Swans down, okay? Cake flour. You can get it from Amazon. This was established in 1894, okay? Make sure uh you get you some of this. This is some good stuff. You can get it from Amazon or if you got your HG Hills in your area, get you some of that. It's some good stuff, okay? But back to the program. We're gonna put one and one fourth cup of oil. Okay, one and one fourth cup of oil. Look at that. She already looking cute. Look at her, girl. Okay. Now you can you you can put your eggs in individually, but we ain't who got time for that? We're trying to make some Thanksgiving cake. No, I'm just playing. This is actually for my cousin's birthday, but we're gonna make it again for Thanksgiving. But we putting four room temperature eggs in now. Boom. Okay. Y'all, when I say my auntie throws down on this cake, don't don't play with them. Just cause you don't make your carrot cake like this, don't even come for us. Cause this is the this the best cake right here. We speeding it up and jump. Okay. Now we got we gonna put some shredded carrots. You can shred your own if you ain't got time. Go to Kroger's or Walmart. They got it shredded in the produce section. Okay. Get you some of them. We are gonna put our carrots in there. That's three cups. Three cups of carrots. You can use your hand and scrape it out. We, your hand's clean. <laughs> you ain't gotta use no little whip thing. <laughs> we getting all them crumbs out of this little uh, measuring thing. We getting all them carrots. Look at it. You see them. 
she looking cute already. Now we got, we're going to put some pecans in there. You can use how much pecans you like. You don't like that much. Pecans. Pecans, pecans, put tomato, tomato. They all the same. But, uh, we're going to put some of that in there. How much is that? We, uh, let me see. Let me see how many cups of pecans we're going to put in there. We're going to put a cup of pecans in there. But like I said, if you like more, you can put more. This is how much we like in ours. Look at her. You cannot tell me she ain't cute already. Do your mix be looking like it? Do your mix be looking like it? She cute. <laughs> I be back, y'all. We preheating this over to 325. I be back. We got to get our little cake pan ready. If you don't have that little baking powder spray, you can spray it with that. If not, get use that same flour and put it in your little baking pan because you don't want that thing to stick because you're going to be looking crazy on Thanksgiving when your cake ain't coming out when you cut it, okay? I be back. Okay, y'all. This is how we put our flour. The same flour we used for the cake, we put it in here so it won't stick. You see it? Okay, make sure you flour it real good. Okay, so now we're going to pour the mixture. We're going to pour the mixture into the pan. Y'all see how easy that was? That wasn't even hard. Look at her. Oh, she ain't in the oven yet. <laughs> she cute. Quit playing with her. You want to lick that spoon? No, no, no. You can't do that. She cute. Look at her. Y'all think she look good. Wait till she finish. When she get out her dressing on. Watch her. She cute. <laughs> so we're going to put it in the oven on 325. Your oven might be different. It's about an hour maybe an hour and 10 minutes just depends you want to take it out you know put a toothpick in and see if it comes out clean because your oven our oven might cook faster than yours okay so uh we cooking ours for about an hour and 10 minutes but don't go by an hour and 10 minutes because like i said yours might cook even faster than the thing be burnt check on the thing okay check on the jump and put your toothpick in it and see if it comes out clean okay we're gonna be back when we get through cooking this cake i'll be back Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, now we about to make the icing for the carrot cake, okay? What you see right there is two eight ounces of uh, cream cheese, room temperature, and it's Philadelphia. But girl, you ain't got to use no Philadelphia. <laughs> but, yeah, that's two eight ounces of cream cheese, okay? We're going to mix this up real quick, get it whipped and junk, okay? You'll see it. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to whip it up. Whip, whip, whip it up. <laughs> okay. Girl, that cake smelling so good. I'm telling you. Your family going to be like, who made this cake? Raise your hand and say, I did. <laughs> now we're going to put one cup of powdered sugar. One cup of powdered sugar. You see that? It's good now. Mix that in now. Real easy, y'all. Okay. Girl, it smells so good. Look at all of them. Now we're gonna put some vanilla. Now my auntie got this, uh, what is it called? Uh, what? Let me see that. Let me show y'all. She got the fancy vanilla. Girl, let me show you. She got this. Now you can use this type of vanilla extract, but girl, I ain't no tell. It probably cost fifty dollars. I don't know. <laughs> you know vanilla extract high anyway. But uh, we gonna put like a half of a tablespoon in here. Okay. And then we're gonna put a taint of water. We're gonna put the taint. Oh, you already put the uh, half a tablespoon in there. Oh, I missed that, girl. You probably saw it, but I missed it. She put the, about a half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. <laughs> now we're gonna put a taint of water. A little taint. Now, I told y'all about the metric system. If y'all don't know what taint is, I mean, they might get it on Google, but they might not. It's just a little bit. A taint is a little bit. <laughs> 
Okay. So we're getting it good and smooth. Good and smooth. Now we're gonna put some more pecans, pecans, wherever you live at. Just depends on how you pronounce it. That's about, I mean, just put as much as you want. That's about uh, half a cup. But if you like more nuts, put more nuts, nuts girl. It ain't no particular thing. Just put what you like. Okay? Just grind them nuts up. And that's it. We're going to be back. We're letting the cake cool. Letting it cool a little bit. And then we're going to take it out. And we're going to ice this thing. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. This is how it look when they first come out the oven. We done flipped it upside down. Don't forget to flip it upside down. <laughs> she cute already. She ain't got no icing on her yet. We letting her cool. <laughs> we letting her cool down, okay? That's how she look coming out the oven. Bam. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. We already done ice it up and all that stuff and stuff. My auntie, uh, girl, she didn't even let you see when she cut the cake in half. You got to cut this cake in half and put some icing in between like it's and layers. like it's two layers, okay? Ain't she cute? She cute. We're going to cut it and plate it up and then you'll be able to see. You'll see them layers, girl. Don't play. You'll see them. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. We finished with this carrot cake. Look at her. Look at her. Ain't she cute? You see them two layers in there like that? Look at her. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, your mother-in-law gonna love you this year, girl. She gonna love you. Look at her. We gotta plate it up like this. Uh-huh. You see the carrots and junk stuff coming out? You see her. She cute. Girl. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in with me and my auntie while we make this carrot cake for this Thanksgiving week, y'all. But, y'all, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit the bell to be notified. If you got some extra time on your hands, go on and watch a commercial or two for your girl so she can make a queen for the holidays and stuff and stuff. Y'all, stay safe out there. I love you, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.